maybe come down there at the bullwhip. <laughs> Did you have a question? <laughs> I was wondering if you ever do impressions. <laughs> you know, I, I feel like I do an okay McConaughey. Uh, I, when I was a kid, I loved doing impressions. I loved it. And, um... It's something that's like like I I watch Saturday Night Live. I'm 36 years old. I don't know if y'all knew that. I know I look like I'm 26. <laughs> um, but when I and then like the mid uh, like early to mid 90s. Um, SNL was awesome, and it's still great. It is, but like I just remember every Saturday night, 10:30, in front of the TV, watching watching SNL, and uh, it was awesome. Um, and I used to do all those voices or whatever. But it's been a long time. Um, I tried to do like a James Earl Jones. <laughs> like, see if I can get my voice as deep as possible. Because <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> James Earl Jones did Darth Vader. Luke, I am your father. <laughs> That's about as good as I can do. Um, yeah. How about you? Do you do any impersonations? Not at all. <laughs> I used to try to do a good Sean Connery. <laughs> but then I heard Sebastian Roche, Sean Connery, and I was so upset. <laughs> that I thought mine shocked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to keep wearing this hat for a few more minutes, if that's okay. That's totally okay. You guys see this thing? It's, you know what's funny? I don't even know what's on it. It could have a penis on top of it. Uh, <laughs> like, yeah, check it out. It's Impala, right? No? <laughs> it's a big old... Sorry for any parents who brought children. I'm trying... I try to keep this thing PG. Sorry, Jerry and Ann. Where's Julian? Julian. Sorry, guys. Julian. Hey. Hi. Yeah. Yeah, it's Mark Shepard. <laughs> Misha, Mark, the boys, and Paula. Yeah, that's a Impala symbol too. I had an Impala. <clears throat> My first car was a uh, 62 Chevy Impala. Yeah, it was black. Two door. Uh, I had a red racing stripe down the side. And uh, like a real one, not like I didn't like puke blood out the side or. <laughs> I mean, I might have at some point. Uh, no, it wasn't blood, it was like strawberry Cisco. Did you guys ever do any of you know, remember what Cisco is? That's what, that was the first thing I got drunk on when I was like 15 years old, and I puked my guts out. It was disgusting. Strawberry Cisco. It's like Boone's Farm or where they, the crap they sell at 7-Eleven. I think it's illegal in like 30 states. <laughs> it was like that and Mad Dog 2020. The Mad Dog slogan was like, Mad Dog. It'll make you go blind. <laughs> anyway, I had, a, I had a Chevy Impala, and uh, oh man, it was awesome, you guys. It had a huge backseat, like massive. That's right. I was 16 years old. I take it to the beach by myself. Oh, I just play music. Um, it was a great car, though. It didn't have air conditioning, which by the time I was 18, I was like dead. I love the car, but can we put some AC in this? Because I tried to take her on a date the other night, and by the time I got to the end of the driveway, my sh shirt was just like soaked and like stuck to my back. Because I grew up in Southeast Texas, like humidity's no joke. Um, it's a great car though. I'm glad that you guys like it. I often wonder where that car is. Probably in Mexico. <laughs> Doing this. Hey, that's my car. Beat it, Holmes. Hey, let's move on. <laughs> hey. Hi. And I was wondering if you ever do impressions. Not at all. 
was wondering what was your favorite lines to say on the show? Mmm. My favorite lines just get to say on the show. <laughs> Hello, boys. It's a good look. I love it. It's a good look. I always get frustrated that my hats aren't parked car. I see you solved that problem. <laughs> yeah. Um, favorite lines, uh, just off the top of my head. Um, hunters. <laughs> Hunters are apes. I like that line. Um, I guess the minds were wrong. That was a fun line. Um, but yeah, you know, we're Winchesters. As long as we're alive, there's always hope. Pretty good line. Pretty good line. That's about how I delivered it, too. <laughs> With one foot up on a chair and a half car, half hat on. Great look. It is a good. It fits so well too. It does. It, it really does. Um, okay, okay. Yes, that's it. I no, think. no, no, um, no, 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 no. I'll what? tell you what it's it. You answer another question. It's okay. Yeah. All right. We're just we're just big Gil and Kenny fans. We want to come out here and you know see how you do. All right, we'll do one more. Should we do one more? Yeah. Let's do one more. Hey. You're all cute. <laughs> but now you're like, oh, 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 oh. Yeah. I just like it. You sure are cute. How's algebra going? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. In my defense, it's really dark down there. <laughs> That defense doesn't go very far in court, though, does it? Uh, you're sure a good babysitter. How old are you? I'm 18. She's 18! Alright? So back off. Okay. Totally legal. Can I check your ID? Just kidding. So, Dad, I want to go to another Supernatural Con. No. <laughs> Still gonna be there? No. 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 I saw the edit. Nope. Okay. Sorry. So, what were your favorite acting roles? My favorite acting roles? Yeah. Um, besides Henry, which honestly is still one of my favorite that I've done. Um, Prince Eric on Once Upon a Time was really fun. Um, did a movie called The Grudge Three, shot in Bulgaria for a month. That was quite an experience. And. Um, I was on Friday Night Lights, one of my favorite shows of all time. That was really sweet. Got to go back to Texas and hang out in Austin. And, um, and then uh, probably ER. You know, I, I, I was on the last two seasons of ER, and that was like one of the best experiences of my life. Um, yeah, thanks. It was like a dream come true kind of thing, because I remember watching ER when I was in high school when it first came on, and that was one of the shows that made me like want to be an actor. So then to, you know, fast forward to however many years later, 10 plus years later, to get that show and to get to walk into the hospital and see George Clooney and uh, give him a big hug. I'm just kidding, he wasn't there. He was gone. It's like, George, I'm here, bro. Let's do this. <laughs> Ready to jam, George? Yeah. Eric LaSalle, let's go. None of those guys were there. Uh, though Noah Wiley did come back. He came back and did like six episodes and uh, I was like, what's up, Noah? And he was like, okay. Um, <laughs> No, he didn't. He was a sweetheart, I think. Um, what is he? Did you ever do ER? I did, a million years ago. What, what yeah. do you mean, you think? No, no. Like, he was really a good guy, I, I think. I, I honestly, I don't think I ever had a conversation with him. Um, you know, minimal. Kind of like you and me. <laughs> That's, come on. We, we, we have fabricated a real photo. What was your show? role on ER? Oh, I had a tiny little role, like, in its second season. Yeah, but that's pretty cool. I mean, I see you've worked on everything. You've been around a long time. Well, I was, you know... <laughs> back when I started, they were called talkies. That's right. That's right. It's a fun fact for you guys sound. out there. I remember thinking, this isn't going to last. People yeah. don't want to hear us. Uh, and then they brought in color, and that was neat. Yeah. Uh, my first job was on Gilligan's Island. <laughs> and then I met a young Andy Griffith. <laughs> we worked together. Um, no, it was uh, yeah, a million years ago when the show first started. I Were was, you a I patient? Was, I was a college student. 
Oh, and in real life, I was in college, and then I played like an intern on the show. Oh, you were? Nice. This is not my panel. I don't know why you're asking so you, me questions. Uh, no, I'm just curious. So you you were there when Clooney was there. I was. Yeah. Did you get to touch him? <laughs> Interesting tidbit. He's scratch and sniff. I didn't even know that. <laughs> it smells like coconuts. It's magical. Magical powers. <laughs> oh, man. Well, thank you, guys. Uh, are did we, going, did uh, we answer uh, her question? Did we do it? Did, did I answer her question? Her? I'm pretty sure I did. Well, Gil McKinney's going to be here tonight at karaoke. And Gil McKinney is going to be on this stage with this band tomorrow night for Saturday Night Special. Do not miss either one. Be here. Gil McKinney, everybody! Too. We'll be right back. We're taking a breather.